Uh, hello, welcome back to my PBR Gum for the week. Um, this one's a bit of a little late night. I didn't watch you offline because I'm watching a different show aimed for a young audience and girls. <laughs> I'm watching that uh, Sophia uh, finale. Yeah, that one. That. Again, yeah, I. Yeah. I'm watching, you know, that. So I didn't get to watch it. The thing is, we kept going along and got leaked, and I could have last night watched the leaked, leaked version and it did be on then. Go I could be able to, but I'm an idiot. It's not like, it's not from time I. Well, my movie for night did something like that, so. But oh well. It didn't barely even ever at least. I think I got it out. You know, in a decent window. And I, so, anyway, go here, go here. It is the really Epico V Washout. Written by Nick Confalone. Um. Okay, anyway, go in the cup of code, bank a clean, goo, um, find out about the, um, the touring group of stunt pony called the Washout, which all wash out from the Wonder Bowl. They're in there, but they got washed out. And Goo started getting into it to the point where she started to wash out fan clubs who played three minutes one. But the fan club, we also could team get bear to well. Well, not that to me. And of course, Luminous should get worried that you know, she had been eventually replaced. She didn't click any better, but she finally got, she find out the leader of the Watch Out in, in, in Lightning Duck from Wonderbolt Academy, which is so many games ago. It's weird when they read things for that so long ago, you all forgot about them. But it's like, you know, that, that goes like, what, five years ago now? Damn. <laughs> but yeah, go there and we plot there. Um, but the one pretty good, uh, sort of. Uh, like, I heard a bad thing about the one, and I, I have a problem with it, but I don't give a bad about it. Like, I've never been weaker at the rough you know. But the one is very, like, there are minor issue back, sort of, like, like, one casual evasion can be a bit off. You know, good, 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 too eager to, potentially, but I'm not that there's much danger of rematch being a plane, but apparently, but too eager to all for a play for both the fans, but all, well, you know? Because for that, I'm going to all put in a rematch game a little weird about it. But after that went along, we kind of did a better job of establishing why they're doing what we are doing and getting into an interesting plot with that. But uh, go the big problem I do for Ravid with Lightning Dunt. Um, some people, some people want her redeemed. I didn't, because I don't like that kind of thing. And thankfully, they didn't do that. Um, but she doesn't add an aspect. She's sort of inclusion. It will it kind of weakens the play a bit because she's still a villain. She worked pretty well as a villain, but she more or less wants Goo in there to fight Rainbow Dash. Like, considering a part of the plot and, like, you know, Goo proving she's a real full, she can sort of do what she wants and join, you know, Bosch out the team she wants, but having the leader at team only want that to fight Rainbow Dash. Yeah, go luck, she will not be joining the uh, new thing like that. And it's like, obviously, I feel like it would have been interesting to actually have Gulu do coming her own, especially the you know, motivation for wanting to do it. But having Wang you know, be a big villain, kind of not cheap than that. You know, it's very leaked, they have him rest to apologize and we got to get him. And we're here, so we don't have anyone actually win, technically. But in spite of that, I do like this one because it's a actually pretty interesting story with, you know, you know, especially, you know, with Rainbow Dash, you know, you know, you know John Nash is a bit more jerkish about the fact her being a play, you know, you don't quite like Rainbow Dash and they're actually truly a play, you know, you're playing, you know, like, and she doesn't really like that, I, you know, I'm not going to a fan club back there, you know. You know, a good motivation for one you want to watch out, which relates like back to something that I'm going to doubt if you can go, or we'll delve into if you can go. But that was actually really like the key, and that made for a good cool, nice story. And I feel like if Lightning Dust will get there, and they kind of, if that problem will get there, I feel like they could have actually made a great episode, because then they could actually have Guru potentially join that. It's more more but the kind of episode is not too big at all. You know, go, go, kind of boring, but not too big a deal for me. And I can't quite articulate my issue without getting boring of some kind. Go, yeah. Go, and the Gap Go actually pretty funny too, even though slightly dramatic, dramatic one. 
they're still quite a few good jokes, like, you know, like, like, the rim that's talking about her being replaced, it's like, well, Applejack, you know, that's like if, you know, the apple boom started like getting a banana instead of apple, <laughs> don't let that happen, right, by the way, if that happens, you know, you know the timing got there, and they'll go whip crack on effect, go, yeah, <laughs> I mean, her book had to well, again, Johnny Tech, like, I got the cat for book crack to be in there. Yeah, um, <laughs> you know, very, I just made Johnny Tech better for you. And ruined the show. Uh, crack, crack. Hey, no, we can't call it, like, Johnny Tech. That's not the cat whip crack kind of thing, I don't think it's a whip crack kind of thing. You know, a funny moment like that, kind of that, uh, you know. We can go far as like up the comedy a little bit. So we've got a few episodes I think are actually generally pretty funny and cool. entertaining to watch, even if a story issue. And that like well, the show had that before, but we can need to have it more go. But I don't know. Go there for watch out. I enjoyed it. I thought it got a pretty interesting big fight come walking kind of. I think the story was actually quite an engaging one. But a funny moment of uh, what you've done you Herbing you some story. Don't go to muddy thing a bit, you know, but, but the manager would have him and Ash clearly grow by that. Go, we have a call it go. It could have been one of the best that we can or anything, something like that. But, don't call it once. I like it more than a few of them, so. There you go. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, thank you the game for the watch out. A little more mixed when you go. I, I enjoyed it, you know, so, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, today was pretty great, you got the cup of COVID and had that, everything. But yeah, they come from the world, they are actually didn't do, going to pair of them. Let's see, break up, break down, and they're up to go that, you know, funny by throwing issue, when that one could be okay. Let's see, that's the only one who's in it, though. He's my favorite dude, right? He's fine, but probably pooped. Heartbreaker, you know, both pretty fun and quite good at the gun. Um, Bill Cake and Prank good, not my favorite good at the gun, but still fine. But kind of review, that one pretty funny. The guy can be pretty funny. That one, that was a good one. The quarter, that was fun at the gun, not quite too a really good at the gun, but another one I quite enjoyed, and their work off friendship, which, uh, was fine. I don't remember that much from that one, but I enjoy it well enough. The mod couple, which is another one that Again, I defend you though, not perfect, but, you know, technically, fun, then, okay. Oh yeah, he told a fun writer, not everything great, but it's all good. That week, we have, what is it, a rock coup from a hard plane. I've heard an interesting thing about this one. Go, so I definitely see how that go, but, um, and so, you then, um, you know, you then for that stuff, go, goodbye.